what is up guys it's Kai here back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to activate the navigation keys alright guys so what we're going to be enabling in this video is a thing called soft keys now soft keys is the uh, on screen buttons so on my note 3 here I've got um, one physical button which is my home button and two capacitive touch buttons which are the return and the menu button so on my phone here at the moment, I'm running Synergy Mod 11. Now, if you guys have seen, the Note 3's Synergy Mod uh, release are still on night nightly, but so, so, so far I haven't run into any problems. So what you're going to need to be able to enable this is you're going to need root access. Now with Synergy Mod, I get root access pre-installed. Now that's one of the things I really like about Synergy Mod. So if you haven't rooted your Note 3, Go have a look at some other site, some sites, just type up in Google Galaxy Note 3 root and more than likely you'll go to galaxynote3root.com and it's very easy to root your device from there if you're still wanting to run the standard touch with um, Samsung interface. But what you get, but now that you have root installed, what you're going to want to download is a root um, enabled device explorer so at the moment I'm going to use root browser but you could also use ES file explorer which most of you would probably know about you just have to go into the settings and I believe uh, enable root, root access I'm, I've never experimented with that but that's okay so what we're wanting to do is we're going to want to go into so I'm going to open up root browser here I'm going to click no now I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go into system so I'm in system, I'm going to go right down to the bottom and I'm going to look for a program called, or a file called build.proop. Now I'm going to open that and I'm going to use RB text editor. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll right down to the bottom. I'm going to, alright so guys, now what we're going to want to type in is, and don't worry if you guys don't get this down, I'll put it down in the description. So we're going to want to type in one single line. So it's going to be Q E M U dot H W dot main keys is equal to zero. So that's our line there. So that line Q E M U dot H W dot main keys is equal to zero. Now, if you are running the AOKP mod, I believe, you are able to enable this in their uh, ROM settings. Whereas uh, with Synergy mod, they give you a lot more customization. So at the moment, my uh, Note 3 here is running Synergy mod 11, which is running uh, Android 4.4.4 KitKat, which is the latest stable release of Android. L is still in developer mode. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click the save button. Now that's saved. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reboot. Alright guys, so my phone here has now rebooted. So I'm going to unlock it. And voila, there's our soft key navigation buttons. Now this is the tutorial that I really like doing because it's very simple. But one of the problems that I've found that many people do is that instead of writing Q E M U when they're putting in the line into the root browser, they'll write Q menu. Now this is something I cannot stress enough that if you write Q menu, this will not work. It specifically has to be Q E M U. So if you if you're watching this on YouTube on your Android phone that's rooted, you can just copy it from down in the description and put, paste it straight into the root browser build.prop file. Now guys, if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Um, make sure to hit that big thumbs up button. Make sure to hit that red subscribe button so you know whenever, I le whenever we release a new tutorial or video. And make sure to hit that button because we've got a whole range of new videos coming up very, very soon. So guys, this has been my tutorial on how to enable the soft key buttons on my Galaxy Note 3 here and one more thing I have to mention is that it might not work on all devices I've only tried it on my Note 3 here because this is the only device I have with physical buttons so guys I'm not sh if this doesn't work make sure to leave me a comment down below and I'll see what I can 
find to enable that for you guys. But till then guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.